Hey, what's up? It's Dynasty back with some more Mortal Kombat 1 MK Uno for you guys on this Monday afternoon. Chaos Reigns just dropped almost a week ago, and in today's video, what if I told you that Chaos Reigns potentially may not be the last DLC expansion we see for Mortal Kombat 1 when it's all said and done? Now, unfortunately, I don't have like 110% concrete evidence to completely suggest that a quote-unquote expansion 2 is going to 100% happen, but with the DLC expansion now being released across all platforms, including PC, Inner Loco stumbled upon something I thought was interesting, that being the actual codename of the DLC expansion, Chaos Reigns, that may or may not suggest that, well, DLC Expansion 2 may be on the horizon. Also, I got for you guys like 30 different images of Chaos Reigns concept art. Most of the stuff you do unlock if you actually do purchase the DLC and beat the actual story mode portion of the expansion. And in the midst of all this Chaos Reigns hype, I didn't even realize this was on our consoles, but in one of the concept art images, you can see what appears to be Major Blade. Sonya Blade? Cassie Cage Blade? Not Sonya Blade, some other Blade that Johnny's uh, married to, or maybe just another Blade altogether. It's pretty interesting. You guys do know a couple of days ago we were covering some Ed Boon interviews where Boone was discussing how he's pretty much aware that the fans want to see the return of Jade, the return of Sonya as main fighters in a Mortal Kombat game. So when I saw potentially Sonya Blade in one of these concept art images days after the expansion came out for the first time, chances are you guys probably missed this stuff too. So that is going to be the topics of the day. Nothing too crazy or groundbreaking. Just a small update again in regards to potentially the future Mortal Kombat 1, courtesy of my boy, Inner Loco. If you guys are excited to potentially get some more Mortal Kombat 1 DLC in the future, do me a solid. It takes you a second. Please drop a like on the video from the bottom of my heart, guys. Thank you so much for showing a bunch of positive support and feedback on the recent Chaos Reigns uploads all throughout the last week. Without you guys, these MK videos do not happen. So I love you. Thank you for everything. With that said, DLC 2? What exactly is going on? So yesterday afternoon, Interloco came out and kind of dropped a bombshell that I've not seen anyone really talk about. So Interloco shared this right here on X Twitter. Here are some pieces of small information I don't know if people are aware of. Chaos Reign's story is referred as DLC1 and MK1 story as Standard. Now here's the actual file names. Install Standard, install Mortal Kombat 1 Story, install DLC1, install Mortal Kombat Chaos Reign's expansion. Is DLC2 coming? Now in response to that, Interloco was asked, that's weird considering Chaos Reigns isn't the first DLC. And Interloco said, yeah, it is. Technically, story DLC 1, while the base game is your standard in the actual file naming side of things. So, long story short, if you're kind of confused, pretty much Chaos Reigns is being dubbed DLC 1. Now, if there was gonna be no more DLC expansions in the future, wouldn't you just simply call the name for the Chaos Reigns expansion DLC? Not DLC 1? Do you see what I'm trying to say? So because it ends in a numeric form with it being listed as number 1, a lot of people, including Interloco, suggest and believe there is a chance that in the future, DLC 2, aka Expansion 2, could also be dropping sometime probably in 2025. So I thought that was very interesting because at this point in time, everything we've discussed and talked about over the past year in terms of data mines has came from the day one build of Mortal Kombat 1. And for the most part, nothing really has been added or changed that was really 
groundbreaking or too different from the day one build of the game. When it came to the actual DLC character leaks, things of that sort, a lot of the stuff, for the most part, has been the same for a year. So with this new expansion giving us this new DLC one name, I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that if there is a Combat Pack 3, it could launch also with another few story mode chapters. So again, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's nothing 110% confirmed to be a thing, but it's worth noting. I thought that was very interesting. So we'll see what happens with that being named DLC 1. Will there be a DLC 2? Time will tell at this point in time again, based on what I've seen from the most recent update, the intros for our alleged potential KP3 characters in Cassie Cage, Jade, Kung Jin. Some of Jade's lines were given to Cyrax, and some of Cassie Cage's lines were given to Takeda. So, it's not necessarily looking too good in terms of possibilities of us getting some more DLC, but given that Boone has came out even this last week in marketing saying that he's going to continue to support Mortal Kombat 1 for a long time, years to come. I'd actually be shocked if we didn't get a Combat Pack 3 and maybe a story expansion. At the very least, I think we're getting probably one last character pack. But, um, story expansion, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, shout out to Interloco for sharing that because, again, at this point in time, it's the only thing that we've data mined that could kind of suggest an actual story expansion dropping again in the future. Now on to the second topic of the day, Major Blade. Now in the actual expansion, Johnny Cade mentions Major Blade in one of the quotes. I got excited in my playthrough. If you watch my live stream from that night, the actual Chaos Reigns DLC dropped. I was like, oh my God, Sonya Blade. I didn't realize this though, but in the actual concept art, you could see like Interloco shared yesterday, is this Major Blade? And you can see Johnny Cage alongside what appears to be, potentially, Sonya Blade in the middle of the Chaos Realm Marketplace. We see Johnny running all throughout this Chaos Realm Marketplace before he's saved by the good guys in the expansion. He's having a rough time until they save the day, so... Maybe initially they were planning on having not just Johnny, but even Sonya Blade featured as part of the DLC expansion? You see what I mean? She's straight up standing next to him. So that leads me to think that in some capacity, Sonya Blade, whoever Blade, was supposed to be featured in the expansion. I wish I had confirmation on what happened. Again, concepts are concepts. They don't always mean they were destined to become a real thing, but I do think that's interesting. Now, I mentioned earlier that when you beat the actual story mode expansion, you unlock most of a lot of this uh, concept art. Just kind of wanted to do a nice little deep dive into most of it because I haven't really actually had a chance to sit and look at it outside of the Major Blade concept art that was shared by Interloco yesterday. So I figure if you missed it, if you've not paid for the DLC, do a quick overview of everything you may or may not be missing. Pretty standard stuff. A lot of this is just simply going to be like Havoc in his Colosseum. A lot of this stuff just simply going to be a lot of the assets we see when we're actually in the Chaos Realm portion of the expansion. So, I thought this was pretty cool. This literally looks just like the actual stage we got in Mortal Kombat 1. So, the development team kind of snapped. I'm not going to lie. I think this is probably one of the best stages that was added from the expansion. Here's another look at Orin. This time it seems like Orin's just in the middle of this chaos marketplace. You can see all the vendors all around. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like Orin is uh, chained up. Hell, this might not even be Orin. It could just be another dragon. It's just a dragon in the middle of the marketplace. Is it dead? Is it alive? I don't know, but we have a bunch of vendors all around the midst of it. It's definitely giving a chaos vibe to it. Check this out. Again, another stage concept art that we see come to fruition with the Chaos Reigns expansion. Here's a look at the Colosseum. Yeah. 
A lot of people were saying that the actual vibe of the Chaos Realm wasn't as authentic as they were hoping it'd be in comparison to like the 3D era version of what we see Chaos Realm being. I can kind of definitely see that. If anything, I feel like Havoc felt more like the Joker than anything in this expansion, which kind of pissed me off. It's more like anarchy than like uh, Chaos from Deception Era. This is pretty insane. This is like a dragon uh, split open in the middle of the actual marketplace. Don't think we saw anything like this in the expansion. Don't remember seeing this. This is insane. This was maybe gonna be Havoc's uh, throne and it's just a bunch of like limbs and bodies. It would have been Havoc sitting on a bunch of bodies with a bunch of monks just uh, staring at him. This guy's head kind of uh, doesn't exist anymore. This reminds me of like a train yard or something. Maybe there was like a train yard. I don't remember seeing a train yard in the DLC expansion, a subway or anything like that. Maybe there was and I just can't recall. It tells you everything about the actual recent expansion. Forgettable in T minus five minutes. This is kind of cool. Now the whole chaos LED sign, I think it's kind of corny, but it's just a bunch of trash. Now back here ends up being an actual stage in the game, the marketplace stage that we see. But the outside of it just looks like a scrapyard. It literally just looks like a junkyard. Here's some of the skull statues we see in the Colosseum. I don't know what this is. It's like a one being or something. It's like a big eye. I don't know. It's supposed to be in Havoc's Colosseum. Looks like a uh, shoot 'em up boss from back in the 90s or something. Something out of like Power Rangers. I don't know. Here's Titan Havoc walking um, somewhere in the Coliseum. Feel like I just took a tab of LSD or something. And again, here's another look at the Coliseum. I guess they were thinking of having the Coliseum in the middle of like some type of eye or something. This is actually kind of spooky. It looks like a bad trip. Not like a Roman Coliseum like we saw in the actual expansion. This actually would have been kind of cool. Things were just kind of melting in front of our eyes, like an LSD trip. That would have been something. They were thinking about doing that. This is crazy. It reminds me of that Scorn game. Yeah, this is the exact same vibe too. Just like it melting and deteriorating. It's, uh, it's fucking creepy. It's very creepy. I do believe we see this uh, being in the actual Chaos Realm cutscenes, I think. I know we see the snail, I think we see this guy. Um, apparently his name's Theodore? <laughs> I don't know. This looks like a pure replication of everything we actually see in the expansion, so... In terms of bringing this to life, with this being the inspiration, I do think they did a pretty damn good job. Same can be said for this too. Again, this looks just like the Colosseum we actually do see in the expansion. Then there's some concept arts in regards to some of the actual like background aesthetics we see in the midst of the Colosseum, Saul, crypts, maze, if you will. I said in my review, it feels like they reused a lot of Mortal Kombat 11 assets from the crypt. And this kind of still gives me like the MK11 crypt vibe, not gonna lie. So, yeah. They went all out. This pretty much looks like exactly what we got in the game cutscenes. I don't remember seeing a horse. Did we see a horse? Was somebody riding a horse? I don't remember that. Here's one of the uh, shacks in the midst of the Chaos Marketplace. And here's the Chaos Marketplace. Maybe the horse was uh, in the background in the Marketplace. Here are the Shokens. These guys aren't preaching. Instead, it looks like they're selling some uh, some berries. I'm sure they taste uh, pretty good. Then we get the Shokens selling some bugs and some meat. We do see this bug 
I think sliced a few times in one of the cutscenes. There's the snail that we see. I'm glad the snail made it from concept to in-game. Here's a rat right here. <laughs> Rats are in the chaos realm. Who would have thunk it? Then we get another angle from the Chaos Realm Marketplace with Havoc's name scribbled all on these pots, some pans. Yeah, it just looks like what we saw in the cutscenes, the markets. Lastly, though, the big takeaway from this is the fact that at one point in time, it seems like they were thinking about giving us not just Johnny Cage, but also his Major Blade! From World War II, I guess the eye in the sky is there in the midst of it all? I don't remember seeing an eye in the sky glowing like this. Maybe this is in the cutscenes? I don't remember seeing that, but... Is this Sonya Blade? This appears to be Ermac. This is, uh, Havoc, maybe. But... I thought this was really damn cool. This almost looks like, uh, another soldier? but I'm sure it's just somebody selling stuff in the Outworld market. And yeah, Johnny is running just like in the cutscenes. And Sonya, is it Sonya? Is right behind. So there you go, a nice overview of the concept art. If you've not beaten the expansion, you haven't bought the expansion, there's everything of notes. But guys, that's all I got for y'all today. Just a quick update in regards to potentially the next story mode expansion that'll probably be dubbed DLC 2 in the game's file and source code. What do y'all think of this, given that the actual ending of the expansion is kind of open-ended? It's not necessarily a cliffhanger, but also I feel like there's no real resolution to it all. Did they leave it open like that so we could potentially see this expansion happen? Or is this the end until Mortal Kombat 2, aka Mortal Kombat 13, four to five years from now? Guess we'll have to wait and see. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, it takes you a second, drop a like on it. Of course, subscribe for some more MK content like this on the channel. Till next time, I've been your host, Ben Dynasty. You guys, please stay care, stay safe. I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.